Delighted to be joined by Stefano Bertuzzi, who, as you all know, is the Executive Director of the ASCB. Well, welcome. <laughs> Glad to be here. Thank you very much for taking the time. Busy day to talk to us. It's definitely been a busy day. <laughs> uh, so it's a year on since you got the job. How's it gone? Yeah, to the day almost. <laughs> It's been fabulous. It's been a very good year uh, to, for the organization, for ESCB. We did a lot of new things. Uh, we started new programs, and, uh, and it's been a really, really good year. Although, you know, we know there are many challenges out there for scientists, but this is precisely uh, why uh, ASCB exists, to help people face with this, these challenges and help people accelerate their careers and gain those tools uh, that will help them uh, go over the hump. Okay. And so we really take this uh, as a tall order very seriously. Well, let's, let's look into both of those if we could. So, so let's look at some of these. What do you think are the main challenges facing scientists uh, today? Right. Yeah, this is very sad because um, our country that has relied, meaning the United States, that has relied it uh, relied on uh, innovation as the core sure. element of our engine, of our workforce. That's really where uh, the propeller uh, of, right. uh, of the whole system has lied, and we uh, lied, and, and we really understood that. It seems like that we have a little bit forgotten that, and uh, um, we see cuts in research and development for the first time ever. The NIH budget, which is the main source for our grantees for funding from the federal government, has been cut by 5.5%. That's a lot. That's never happened. And, uh, and instead you see uh, other areas of the world where the R&D investments are actually increasing. Right. And uh, this is good. Uh, it's not a zero-sum game. So very pleased to see that other countries and other geographical areas of the world are increasing their uh, investments in R&D. But it's sad to see that the United States is not doing that. Right. And, uh, and I think this is a big challenge that we, we need to face and for which our advocacy work is very, very active at ASCB. We really want to uh, pivot this and uh, make our representative in Congress and the general public understand what is the value of biomedical research, of research, of cell biology, of basic science. Without basic science, there is no innovation. There but is no think, future. But do you think that society, taxpayers, uh, people in Congress, do you think they get that? Well, um, I think some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, it is, it is uh, our job to educate them and see the value of that. Uh, you know, when you are in a business where you provide a service, so if your pipe leaks and you need a plumber and comes and fixes it, you want it now, you can have it in a very short time, hopefully the problem is solved, you appreciate what the value of that right. is. But when we talk about basic science, we don't, we don't generate services, we right. produce knowledge that needs to be translated into cures, and this takes a lot of time. Right. So it becomes very proximal. So for example, this iPhone, you know, everybody thinks that an iPhone was uh, uh, invented by Steve Jobs, by a company. That is not exactly true. Uh, what exactly happened there was that it has been packaged in a very clever, very efficient, and very effective way, the engineering and all the technology that has been developed by basic research in a different field. And it's exactly the same right. in biomedical research. The, the drugs and uh, uh, all the cures, the therapies that we see come from basic research. Without basic research, without the public funding for basic research, we would not have the cures that we have Right. Today. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the, the, the conference itself. We're, we're very exciting, isn't it, this year? Yeah, it's fabulous, isn't it? Uh, it's really such a treat to, to be here, seeing these young scientists right. uh, and the established scientists uh, come. And, uh, and, and it's really, really great. And this year, we had these uh, incredible speakers uh, that uh, gaze, that open our eyes to the future of, uh, of cell biology. The, Opportunities of stem cells uh, by Elaine Fuchs and then Craig Venter right. with synthetic biology. Right. Wow! <laughs> and uh, so it, it's a field that it's absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm hearing and seeing people very, very happy about it. And uh, right. this is great. Well, thank you for talking to us today. Really appreciate it. It's, it's been fabulous. great. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here.